In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an activity in Seesaw using a portion of an Engage New York PDF. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a PDF document from Engage New York that I want the students to complete or annotate on top of. So I'm going to hop on over to Engage New York. And in Engage New York, I'm going to go to one of the modules and one of the lessons, one of the topics, and I already have had it open. And it opened in my web browser in Edge. And you can see here, here is an example of one of the PDFs that I just opened. So let's say, for example, I just want the students to work on a portion of this and not the entire thing. So what we need to do is we need to take a screenshot of this so that it's saved as a JPEG. Seesaw will take a PDF or a JPEG that the students can annotate on top of. This is already in PDF format, but we either need to split this PDF if you want to give the students every single um, word problem or problem that is on the page, or we can just use a snipping tool and snip this. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, and this is just one way. So what you're going to do is have in view the section of the page that you want to snip and save so that we can bring it over to Seesaw. And then when you're on a district device, if you come down to your taskbar and you type in the word sketch, there is an app installed as part of Windows 10 called Snip and Sketch. So when you click on Snip and Sketch, it's going to open up this window here. So there's two ways that we can take a screenshot or a snip of this particular document. You can use the keyboard shortcut using the holding down the Windows logo key, the Shift key, and then tapping the S. Or you can just click on this New button. So when I click on New, what you're going to do now, you can see my screen is grayed out and my cursor has turned into this little cross. What you can't see on the screen is at the top of my screen, there is a little toolbar um, that allows me to choose different options, but you don't need to click on anything there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to be dragging around the problem that I want the students to complete. So let's say, for example, I want them to complete all of one and two. So I'm dragging from a corner and I'm not going to let go until I have the entire section that I want. And then once I have the entire section, I'm going to let go and it's going to take a snapshot of it. And now it has put it into a little window in the snip and sketch tool. There are some tools up here if you needed to like highlight anything or do anything before we brought it into Seesaw. But if that's not necessary, all you have to do is click on this little save button. And then this little save button will allow you to save this to someplace on your computer. Hopefully you are saving it to OneDrive. I'm just temporarily saving this to my desktop. Seesaw module activity one, and I'm going to save it. So now that I have this saved, I can now bring it into Seesaw so that my students can annotate on. So now I'm going to create a new activity for my students using that snapshot. So I'm going to go over in my Seesaw class and I'm going to click add and I'm going to click assign activity. And then I'm going to create a new activity. So you're going to give the activity a name and then we're also going to put some instructions in here. So you can see here I have named my activity and I also have included student instructions as to what they're going to do. You might notice that some of the words that I have included in here are between colons and that is so a picture representation of what the students need to click on shows up for them and this is helpful to emerging readers. If you're not sure what some of these tools are or how to bring them in, I'm going to include a link to this particular web page so that you can see how to include pictures in your instructions to replace certain words so the students know exactly what they need to click on in order to submit their responses. I'm going to go back over to my activity so I have my instructions in and then I'm going to add a student template that the students are going to annotate on top of. So what we're doing is we are uploading a photo because we had saved a photo from that particular Engage New York worksheet. So I'm going to select it from my computer this is going to allow me to browse from my computer and now I am going to go and I'm going to pick that particular assignment that I um, that particular image that I had saved to my computer so I had temporarily saved mine to the desktop and then I can see the images here seesaw module activity I'm going to click on that image and I'm going to click OK 
So now the image is there for the students and I'm going to click this check mark. So now we can see here are here is what the students are going to see and they will be able to then use the pen tool, whoops, the pen tool that I have included in here so that they can work on this worksheet. Once I'm satisfied with it, I'm going to click this green check mark and then I am going to save this activity. And now the activity is in my library and I'm going to assign it to my class. And now my students will have the ability to work on this activity. So you can see here the activity is here. And just as an example, if I want to add a response, this is what the students are going to see. And when they click on view instructions, you can see here all of the little shortcuts with the text between colon has transferred into an image. So the students kind of know by pictures what they need to click on in order to complete this activity. So this was just a really quick way to take us just a snapshot of an Engage New York page and include it as a seesaw activity and assign it to your class.